Okay, back to Leopardstown for the Christmas hurdle. It's a grade two, over three miles hurdle. Soft conditions here. And uh, let's see the runners. So number one is Benny Opera for Molly at Surfer. Two is Dust Master for Graham Clutterbuck. Three is Eight's Defences for Joshua Sutherland. Four is Galadriel's LK for David Robertson. Five is Historical for Thunderspark. Six, Napoleon Gray, Stu Gray. Paddy for return is Ghost Sapper at seven. Prime Suspect is Paul Rhodes at eight. Wreck It Ralph for Leon at nine. Espana Senorita for D. Thompson at ten. And she's the one for Derek Hinton is number 11. Eleven of them here. Going to contest this grade two hurdle. Stunner's has got him away. And let's see what we've got. And then we've not got an OB1 front runner in here. It's Paddy's return for John Morgan that's going to take them along. And we're jostling in the pack. A couple of them already uh, going up the rear of others. And they've got plenty of time to find their uh, space. Napoleon Gray's one of them against the fence. So it's Paddy's return that leads. I'm going to take me into this first hurdle, which is uh, only six. So there's plenty of uh, running on the flat here. Not sure about six hurdles. Isn't seven the minimum? And uh, I'm going to have to be really waffling on as they go over the flat ground. They eventually get to the first hurdle. No, not yet. There it is. And everybody gets over it. Although Wreck It Ralph was really slow at the rear of the grate. And that'll be the last hurdle, I assume, after they've gone round two more times, or maybe only once. Not too sure of the Leopardstown track. Uh, rolling along in the middle of the course. Big screens. Yes, there's the second hurdle. More like a National Hunt flat race. So Paddy's return is going to take him into the second. He leads by five. Well, he was slow, and the rest of them were a little bit quicker. up. Cut his lead down to three. Historical out wide. First of the greys. The other grey against the fence is Napoleon Grey. And outside of that is She's the One and Benny Opera. They're followed through by Dustmaster and Espana Senorita. Then we've got eight the fences. Prime suspect. Racket Ralph and Galadriel Zelke towards the fence with a yellow cap. So they will start to get over now towards the route. Take this left turn. I think the third hurdle is a long way off. So it's Paddy's return. I see there's lots of uh, stuff in the forum over the past week. A few of us uh, getting a little bit feisty. Debating stuff for the league. There's a fair few that would like two leagues. There's a fair few that wouldn't. But it's Paddy's return in this race that's leading us. Napoleon Gray in second. They're all there or thereabouts. There's only eight lengths between first and last. Last at the moment is prime suspect for Paul Rhodes. Pretty unknown position for him. I doubt if he'll finish last. So Paddy's return is going to finally lead us into the third flight. It's the fences. Napoleon Grey. The other grey out wide is historical. Black, gold and red silks of Benny Opera's there. And Dustmaster on the inside of that. Gladriel Zelke and Espana Senorita. Followed through by She's the One. wreck -It Ralph and Prime Suspect. They finally get to the third and everybody gets over it. So it's still Paddy's return. It's the fences now. It's taken up second on his own. Right, here comes the fourth. And everybody's over that. So because we've got a mile and a furlong left to travel. Through four of the six hurdles. We only have two to go. And there's the fifth coming up. So we're going to have about a mile and just one hurdle to jump. So it's Paddy's return that's going to take them as they go downhill into this one. Gets over it, as does the rest of the remainder. And it's Paddy's return, just by a couple of lengths now to Gladriel Zelke. And a length through further back to Eats the Fences, so historical still out wide. And another grey, wreck -It Ralph. Back in towards the inside is Espana Senorita. And being followed through by She's the One, Prime Suspect, Benny Opera, Dustmaster and Napoleon Grey. So up front, Galadriel's Elk decides to challenge Paddy's return now. 
Still six furlongs left to travel. We've got another bend, I should think, before we even get to the last hurdle. So it's Gladriel's Elk from Paddy's return. Eight's the fence is making up some ground now. It's historical. She's the one. Wreck it, Ralph. They're all coming up to challenge. One being pushed along is Espana Senorita. Now wide is Prime Suspect. Napoleon Gray being pushed along, as is Benny Opera and Dustmaster. But up front is still Galadriel's Elk being joined by Historical. Paddy's returns on the fence. The one on the outside is She's the One. Eight's the fence has got nowhere to go. The other Gray is Wreck It Ralph from the outside. And Prime Suspect for Paul Rhodes moving well. So it's Galadriel's Elk. Eh? Three and a half furlongs left to run. We're still waiting for the last hurdle to come. It's still Galadriel's Elk. Eh? Now from Prime Suspect in two. These two starting to pull away. Historical being put under a lot of pressure as is She's the one. Napoleon Gray on the outside. The one that's going backwards now is Paddy's return and we're even getting one pulled up inside two furlongs and it's Dustmaster. So it's Galadriel's Elk that leads by a couple of lengths from Prime Sustic. Historical in third. They've got a length advantage over the rest which is being led by eights, the fences but a furlong and a half and we're approaching the final hurdle. It's Galadriel's Elk. Prime Suspect. These two are going to run to get lightly together and they did. And it's Prime Suspect. Galadriel's Elk was a little bit slow but Prime Suspect starting to pull away now. Prime Suspect from Gladriel's Elk. Eights of Fences is going to try and make up that ground. But it's Prime Suspect that leads. Prime Suspect from Eights of Fences in second. Good finish in this venue. Senorita, I think, was fourth. Gladriel's Elk, he got third. And as I said, there was plenty on the flat there. So Prime Suspect for Paul Rhodes takes the Christmas hurdle, grade two. Eights of Fences, Joshua Sutherland was second. Gladriel's LK for Derry Robertson was third. Hispania Senorita for D. Thompson. And New Horse was fourth. Paddy's return for Ghost Sapper Stables was fifth. So that's it for the week. Well, um, well, for the day, should I say. I'll see you tomorrow.